Well, good morning and thank you once again for joining me as we spend just a little bit of time together praying and reading the scriptures in the presence of the Lord. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. So let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. This morning's psalm is Psalm 98. <clears throat> o sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands and let the hills sing together for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our second reading is taken from Exodus chapter 20, beginning at verse 1. Then God spoke all these words, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol, whether in the form of anything that is in heaven above, or that is on the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing children for the iniquity of parents to the third and fourth generation of those who reject me, but showing steadfast love to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not acquit anyone who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. For six days you shall labour and do all your work, the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. You shall not do any work, you, 
your son or your daughter, your male or your female slave, your livestock or the alien resident in your towns. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, but rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord has blessed the Sabbath day and consecrated it. Honour your father and your mother, so that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbour. You shall not covet your neighbour's house. You shall not covet your neighbour's wife, or male or female slave, or ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbour. When all the people witness the thunder and lightning, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking, they were afraid and trembled and stood at a distance. And they said to Moses, You speak to us and we will listen, but do not let God speak to us or we will die. Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid, for God has come only to test you and to put the fear of him upon you so that you will not sin. Then the people stood at a distance, while Moses drew near to the thick darkness where God was. <clears throat> Today's canticle is called A Song of the New Jerusalem. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Though night still covers the earth, and darkness the peoples, above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. The nations will come to your light, and kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will lie open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence shall be heard no longer in your land, or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your wells salvation, and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight, nor moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light, your God will be your splendour. For you shall be called the city of God, the dwelling of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our second reading is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, beginning at verse 26. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy, and will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Open my eyes, O Lord, that 
I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Let us say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. going to read again today from Jesus Calling. Come to me for rest and refreshment. The journey has been too much for you and you are tired. Do not be ashamed of your exhaustion. Instead, see it as an opportunity for me to take charge of your life. Remember that I can fit everything into a pattern for good, including the things that you wish were different. Start with where you are at this point in time and space, accepting that this is where I intend you to be. You will get through today, one step, one moment at a time. Your main responsibility is to remain attentive to me, allowing me to guide you through the many choices along your path. This may sound like an easy assignment, but it is not. Your desire to live in my presence so often goes against the grain of the world, the flesh and the devil. Much of your tiredness results from your constant battle against these opponents. However, you are on the path of my choosing, so do not give up. Hope in me for you will again praise me for the help of my presence. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as your family, while we are apart, we offer our prayers together for the needs of others for the world and for ourselves. Help us to focus our thoughts, our concerns, our hopes and our fears on you. Touch us with your presence that we may feel your nearness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, thank you for the beauty of the earth that you have created for all the things around us that enrich our lives. For music, poetry, art and architecture. You have called us to be guardians and stewards of your creation. And so free us, Lord, from the greed and destructiveness that we so often have. And forgive our abuse of your world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for families. We give thanks for the nurture and support that we have received through them. 
We pray for those who are struggling with the lockdown. And we pray for all that are vulnerable, unwell or frail. We pray for those whose daily routines are amiss and those who are having to cope without the normal care that they receive from others. We pray, Lord, for your church here, remembering especially today Ian Anderson, Suzanne Connor, Robert Radley, Barry Nicholson, Julia and Clive Storey, Steph Clackworthy, Jonathan and Elizabeth Ajidobi, and the Elsdens. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray especially today, Lord, for our Prime Minister. Lord, give him and those in his cabinet wisdom in determining the way forward for our country. Give us your grace and please provide knowledge needed to all those working on a vaccine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you took upon yourself our despair and fear. Please be near to us when we stumble and be our anchor in the storm, our light in the darkness. We pray for all those who are laying down their own lives and putting them on the line by caring for others. For doctors and nurses, for ambulance crew and paramedics, for supermarket employees and the Royal Mail. Please protect them, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In a few moments of quiet, we remember before God those who have asked for our prayers, those who need a touch of his grace at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Risen Christ, you filled your disciples with boldness and fresh hope. Strengthen us to proclaim your risen life and fill us with your peace to the glory of God the Father. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do enjoy your day.